Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, and I have literally just got back to the hotel after finishing casting the Lille Regional Championships. But we got news, ladies and gentlemen. You might notice there is an EVEX on the screen. Well, the new Japanese set has been hinted at. Teased, revealed, phrase it how you will, Terrastal Festival is real. Now, the amount of information we have about this set at the moment is, let's just say, a little bit less than we'd like. And that's a little bit sad. But you know what? We've got a booster back. We've got an EVEX. We know a bit. So, have a look at this booster pack. What do you see? Well, we've got a Terrace, a Stella Terra EVEX. Don't worry, we can talk more about that in a moment. You know what else we've got? Well, there's four Pokemon you can see. One of them we've got there is Ogapon. Well, we've seen that, the Teal Mask Ogapon specifically, that's fine. And then we've got Terrapagos, and we can see that one, and that's fine. Those are Pokemon we know we're familiar with. They're legal right now, and actually... They're kind of a big deal right now. The Teal Mask Ogobon may have been the best card from Twilight Masquerade, or at least is very close. The Terrapagos may have been the best card from Stellar Miracle, or at least is very close. But there are a couple of others on there as well, and it's partly about what we can see, and partly about what we can't. Because you see, the two Pokemon we can see there are clearly Terra Glaceon, and Stellar Terra Umbreon. I'm assuming it's Stellar Terra Glaceon, I'm not 100% sure, but the Umbreon is definitely Stellar Terra. You can see all the different typings in the crown there. And here's the thing those two cards right now don't exist. We don't have Terra or Stellar Terra versions of Glaceon or Umbreon. Those cards don't exist. Those are cards we haven't seen. They are in Terrastal Festival, and, and there's no if, buts, or maybes here. We're not mucking about with hypotheticals, all right? This is definitely going to be in the set. 100% will be in the set. There is absolutely no world in which they are on the front of the booster pack, and they aren't in the set. So no, no mucking about. We're getting those cards. But then, of course, we have to ask the question, well, hang on a second. If they're in the set, what are the chances of getting the rest of the evolutions? And the answer is extremely high. I'm not saying we absolutely definitely will. Can't say that. But I'm saying that it is overwhelmingly likely that we will. Not confirmed, but I think it's fair to say very, very likely. It is going to be an EV focus set. And here's what's weird. This is our end of year set. This is our high class pack. Traditionally, these have been largely reprint sets. These have been sets that bring us lots of reprints of Pokemon, you know, fancy shiny versions of existing Pokemon like Terrapagos and Ogapon. Well, it's already bringing in two Eevees, and the rest of the Eeveelutions aren't, well, three if you count Eevee itself, and the rest of them are not confirmed. Cannot stress that enough. Might be in the set, might not be in the set, are not confirmed. But we've seen how Pokemon tend to roll here. If we had Umbreon and Espeon, but not the others, that would make sense. If we had Glaceon and Leafeon and not the others, that would make sense. But Umbreon and Glaceon and not the others? No. Not confirmed. Not guaranteed. The only ones that are confirmed and guaranteed are Umbreon and Glaceon. But Pokemon in the past have shown us that they will either give us all from the same generation... Or they will give us all of them. They do not mix generations of Eevees. We either get both the Gen 4, your Leafeon and Glaceon. Or both your Gen 2, your Umbreon and Espeon. Or all your Gen 1. But they don't mix them unless they give all of them. So I'm not guaranteeing we're getting all of the Eevees. But I am saying I personally consider it to be very, very likely. But we've actually seen Eevee EX. We know that's coming. And we've got a little translation. Now, we've got a colorless Pokemon, 200 HP, weak to fighting. We've got an awkward attack for a fire, water, and lightning does 200 damage. Now, that's not great. I'm going to be honest with you. However, 
We have got the classic combination of Crispin and Sparkling Crystal. And you play both of those cards together, and that will give you an attack. And being a basic Pokemon, that will give you an attack turn one going second. It's only actually 200 damage, and I think this is quite important. It doesn't get a KO on the majority of, you know, your, your EXs, basic, your basic EXs, Pokemon Vs, etc. Basically, and I think somewhat predictably, it doesn't actually let you KO two prize Pokemon turn one going second, which I think is probably deliberate. Because if it did, this Eevee would be an absolute monster. As it is, decent attack. It's fine. But I think it's fair to say it's early game pressure. Turn one going second, 200. But that is about the best we can say. And do you really want to use Crispin and Sparkling Crystal to pull that off? Maybe you do. In which case, awesome. Sounds good to me. But... I, I rather suspect that it's, I don't know, maybe not quite worth it. But we do have an ability coming in as well. And once again, the ability here, it's telling us stuff that it isn't specifically explicitly telling us. But we look at the card and we know. Because the ability says you can play Pokemon EX that evolve from Eevee on top of this Pokemon to evolve it but you cannot evolve this Pokemon on the first turn you play or on the turn it was put into play. So it doesn't let you break the rules of evolution. It doesn't let you evolve Pokemon that you wouldn't otherwise be able to evolve, but it does mean you can play EXs on top of this. And remember, you know, take Sylveon EX, the only one we've got so far, that evolves from Eevee. It does not evolve from Eevee EX. So we do need this ability because without this ability, we wouldn't be able to evolve into the EXs like Sylveon, for instance. And that's important. It tells us that we're getting EXs. It tells us that we're getting a bunch of Evolution EXs. And look, we know from the booster pack, we're getting Umbreon and Glaceon. I think we're getting the rest of them. There is an argument we don't get Sylveon. Remember, Sylveon was released in its own deck over in Japan. We've had this for a little while. It's going to be in Surging Sparks in English. So there is a chance here that Sylveon actually is an anomaly and that it's, you know, we've already had it, so we don't get it in this set. Outside of that, I'm expecting all the evolutions, but this ability means you can evolve from Eevee EX into Sylveon, and without the ability, you wouldn't be able to. What actually is this, though? It is the end-of-year high-class pack. Last year, we got ourselves Shiny Treasures EX. We got ourselves, well, mostly shiny Pokemon like Gardevoir, but also Charizard and these special illustration rares, but they were in the minority. Two years ago, we got V-Star Universe, which gave us loads of stunning alternate arts. So we do, therefore, have the question of... Is this going to be more of a Shiny Treasures EX, where we get shiny Pokemon, or more of a V-Star Universe, where we get a bunch of illustration rares and things of that nature? We don't know for certain, but looking at the booster pack, it seems to be hinting at shiny Pokemon. It seems to be hinting at fancy, shiny versions rather than alternate arts. That is not confirmed, all right? I personally want illustration rares and things of that nature. I don't know one way or the other, but if you look at the artwork of the pack, it seems to be celebrating that. Now, I will be clear, the Umbreon here is not a shiny Umbreon. The easy way to tell the Umbreon is from the bands of color. I'm colorblind, and even I can tell they're yellow, not blue. So it's not actually shiny Umbreon on the pack. So maybe... We are still getting alternate arts, but I think shiny Pokemon or, you know, things of that nature is more likely. Not confirmed, not guaranteed, just a little more likely. For now, all we actually know is that Terrastal Festival is coming, that is confirmed. That we are getting EVEX that we've seen, and that the four Pokemon on the booster pack, Terrapagos, Teal Mask, Ogapon, Glaceon, and Umbreon are coming. Expect Teal Mask, Ogapon, and Terrapagos to be alt art, by the way. Don't expect them to be new cards. Expect them to be alt art or shiny or something along those lines. 
We're going to find out a lot more about this set as it goes along. We've not had a full proper reveal. We've just had a tease in a video. You know at this stage that when we have more information, I will share it with you. That's the kind of thing that I do. For now, I want to know your thoughts, your feelings, your predictions. I want to know everything you think and everything you're excited about. So let me know in the comment section, would you get us? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.